This is Good Evening San Diego. Well, Father's Day is coming up, and that means we are all thinking about our relationship with our dads and what makes that bond so special. Joining us is John Para, author and artist who has a new book out on that very topic. And I got a chance to speak with him this weekend, too. So, John, good to talk with you again. Yeah, it's good seeing you again, Matt. Yeah, so I, I mentioned uh, a few days ago, the book is called Growing an Artist, The Story of a Landscaper and His Son. And in fact, over the course of the last few days, I've had a chance to read it. We've got a copy right here. Beautiful uh, cover art you have here. And uh, just curious about how this came to be. Is this from personal experience? Uh, well, the, ba uh, the book is based on my childhood growing up. I worked for my father, who was a landscape contractor, and also the fact that I was an artist growing up, and I would draw um, when I was with my dad, when I was at work, or, or wherever I was. Uh, so it is definitely based on my life experiences. Wow. I mean, in terms of the two things that clearly you do very well, which is art and writing, which one came first in your life? And I guess, which one do you enjoy more when you put together a book like this? <laughs> Uh, art is definitely the dominant force in my life. Uh, I've been doing art ever since I was a, a kid, um, just drawing. Um, that's my main mode of uh, my work. And, um, and the story uh, was a, an idea that I had for many years, uh, wanting to write about this, uh, this relationship that I had with my father and about the creativity and the connection to uh, hard work and to nature and, um, and what we did and how that influenced me as a professional artist. Well, and also reading through it, John, it sort of seems like it, it also has a message of not judging people by based off your preconceptions about uh, them, maybe perhaps uh, the things that you see in your life. Uh, do you feel like that was a theme that you were uh, trying to put into the book? Absolutely. Um, you know, sometimes we, you know, we look at others and we kind of, yeah, judge people in certain ways. And also we are judged, you know, and but the thing is, I want people to be proud of who they are, what their backgrounds are, um, because that's sort of also the message, you know, the father and son, they have a talk in the book and they talk about that. Do you feel proud about what you do also? Mm -hmm. And the father's explaining to the son, you know, the son that um, sometimes you are treated that way. But uh, when you do something you care about and you do something you love, um, you feel proud. And that's your motivation, you know, and that's what you care about. That's what you want to find. Great message, certainly. And I'm just curious, too. I mean, what makes you personally passionate about children's books in particular? What do you think it, it adds to, to put this out in the world where parents can sit down and, and start a conversation with their kids through a book? Well, I think that's it. I think the the connection as a, you know, as a parent, as a, even a grandparent now, um, I feel connected and I love to share stories. Um, anytime I, I'm a big uh, fan of reading books myself and to be able to do that and to share a good story uh, with a good message that has heart and that is important, but also beautiful and fun and, and has a journey to it uh, is such a rewarding experience. Um, and it's just, uh, it's also a very creative uh, outlet um, that I hope others will be inspired to also create um, as well. I know last time we spoke, you were going to make a few appearances here in San Diego, and forgive me for not remembering the dates, but have those come and gone, or is there still a chance for people? Uh, no, well, we did the, the Del Mar uh, Library uh, on Wednesday, which was wow. fantastic. We had a great crowd come out. Uh, we had kids drawing. We did story time. I did a presentation. And this Monday, Memorial Day, um, we are going to be at the Barnes & Noble in Encinitas. Um, so, so come out, and we're going to do some more story time, and um, some books will be signed, and maybe Maybe we'll even get to do some drawings, so it should be fun. I love that, John. Thanks so much for coming on again and telling us about this. Like I said, the book was great. I just read it. I can't wait uh, for others to get to enjoy it as well. All right. Thank you. Thanks so much, John.